All right, today we're going to be looking at conditional emails using forms. First off, we're going to be creating a new forms template. I'm going to give it a name, and then I'm going to give it a company name. I'm going to hit create. Next, we're going to give it the server credentials. I'm going to give it the server address. We're going to keep the port the same. 5,000, and now I'm going to use my login credentials to log into the server. And be sure to copy your password into the password field. All right, now we're going to the form builder. I'm just gonna go ahead and change the name so it's a little bit easier to show in this forklift checklist it's going to be a pretty simple checklist nothing too crazy in this case we're going to add a take picture field so we can take a picture of the forklift and then we're going to add some check boxes so we can show whether the forklift is good or bad. First area we're going to put good forklift. And the second one we're going to put bad forklift. And we need to add a second variable name. Uh, the component ID is what we will use inside of our email template as well as double check that it stays the same on the IoT side. And we're going to rename this one as well. We'll leave them unchecked because we want to check whether it's either good or bad. And now we're going to publish. And you can see it's been published to our server. All right, now on the neurons for IoT side, we want to double check that our form has been, our form template has been uploaded. You can see it has, and we're just going to double check that the component ID has stayed the same, in which it has. Good. Now we can come to the scenario builder. Um, if it's your first time, you'll see um, a little button test. We want to delete that and create a form block flow. So here we've grabbed the form block and I've grabbed the conditional if statement and put an email sender block in there. If a forklift is good, we're going to send it to Steve. And I think if a forklift is bad, I'm going to send it to Bill. Don't forget to put the correct variable name inside of the conditional blocks. Otherwise, um, you won't get the conditional stuff happening. I'm going to send this one to you, Bill, if it's a bad forklift. All right, everything looks good to go. We're going to save it. Now on the Velocity Client, we're going to run through the forklift checklist. I'm just going to take a picture. Uh, yep, everything looks good. And we're going to submit. And we'll look inside of our email and see if we receive an email. Oh, there it is. And you can see 
Steve has received an email with a good forklift. All right. Thank you so much for this Wavelink Wednesday. Ooh, thanks. Um, back to you, Sam, with any questions.